Mac OS 10.12, also known as Sierra, 10.13, High Sierra, and 10.14, Mojave, all include a feature designed to automatically save the contents of your Documents folder in iCloud. You can tell if this feature is enabled on your computer by looking at the Documents icon in the Finder window. If the icon appears in the iCloud section of the left menu, or if there is a cloud icon to the right of it, iCloud Backup is turned on. EndNote libraries stored in iCloud can get corrupted over time, which will eventually render them unusable. Even when the library is stored on both the computer's hard drive and online in iCloud. If you want to continue to sync your documents folder with iCloud, in order to back up other files for instance, you will need to store your EndNote libraries in another location on your computer's hard drive. Here's how to do that. Click on the Finder icon and then click Go on the menu bar. Next, click on the Home icon and then click on the Gear icon. Select the New Folder option and then type in a name for the folder, such as EndNote Libraries, and then press Enter on your keyboard. You can make it easier to find this folder by double-clicking on it and then dragging the icon into the Favorites menu on the left-hand side of the Finder window. When creating new EndNote libraries in the future, be sure to select this folder as the save location. You can move existing EndNote libraries into this folder by dragging them into it. But please note, EndNote libraries are made up of two parts, the .enl file and the .data file. You must drag both files into the new folder and they must both be kept together in the same place in order for your EndNote library to work correctly. Of course, you can avoid all of this by turning off iCloud syncing. You can usually do this by signing out of iCloud. If you have further questions, please contact the library at dana.uvm.edu help ask. A librarian will be happy to assist you.